first reading, warriors. Okay, on second thought, the hat might be a little much. I've already got the ugly Christmas sweater. I think I'll be okay without the hat by this video. But hey, it's, we are now in December and it's Christmas season. It was a little bit Christmas season before for me, but like that's not normal. Normally I wait till Thanksgiving is over, but now that Thanksgiving is over, I can in good conscience continue on with Christmas. And oh, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. I got my Santa hat, we're decorating. It's all fantastic. Okay, but the point of this video is actually going to be my Christmas wish list. Um, I think it's just so much fun to talk about the books that you want to read as well as the books that you've already read and so I will talk a little bit about some of the books that I am wanting to get for Christmas so I can read this coming month and next year most likely next year because I've already got my like December TBR all set you know I'm reading uh, mythology as well as just kind of like stories obviously all books are stories but like the twisted tales from like the old classic stories. I'm more so focusing on those as well as mythologies. Um, so like I've got my December TBR kind of pretty set in stone there. So this is for like what I want to get for Christmas to read for next year. <laughs> Most planned out I have of next year. <laughs> so obviously if you guys couldn't tell I'm a big fan of the um, twisted tales Disney books mostly written by Jenny Calcutta. Um, obviously, I have all of them right here. However, I do not have all of them. All the ones I own are right there, but I don't own all of them. And the past couple of years, it's been uh, not like a family tradition, but like my parents have been continuing to get me these, and I'm really hoping that they continue to do so, because there are three more that I don't have that I would love to get this Christmas. Um, and so the ones I don't have are Conceal, Don't Feel, which is about Elsa, and I don't have Reflection, which is a Mulan story, and I don't have Unbirthday, that's the one that came out this past year, which is Alice in Wonderland. Now, all those are twisted with a question that just kind of changes the whole story like halfway through, and I find them to be very creative and very interesting. Um, so I want to definitely keep going with reading those, and so I want to get some of those this year. And the thing is though, too, like if people don't give me these books for Christmas, aka like my family, there's a good chance I'm gonna go and buy them for myself for Christmas, so this is like a future haul almost. Like, I'm gonna get these books soon, so be prepared for them to be in like the second Thursday of the year. Just probably. Anyway, and then the next book on this list I have is actually one that I bought and then didn't come because of shipping issues that were not my fault, actually the fault of the apartment I am living in. Uh, so I actually had to return these books because of shipping issues that were not mine nor the company's fault. It was my it was my apartment building, and so those are the last four books of <laughs> the series by Ken Carrie Maniscalco. I have the first one, Stalking Jack the River, but there are four more, uh, like Capturing the Devil. There are three more after that, and I wanted to get them except like I said there were issues so hopefully if I could get those for Christmas that'd be pretty nice because I technically already should have gotten them I just didn't so I might just try again when I'm at my parents house and be like hey I'm gonna have some books shipped here because apparently my apartment will not let me have my packages <laughs> so they're on my Christmas list even though they should have been mine already my hair uh, the next book is Kingdom of the Wicked and I really want to get this book because I've read other books by this author and I really enjoyed them. Uh, plus the plot sounds very interesting. I'm not going to get too deep into the synopsis of these books because one, I don't like knowing a lot about books before I read them and two, time. I don't want to make this a super long video because if I do then my computer will have a heart attack and this video will not see the light of day. <laughs> Ooh, I also really want to get Blood and Honey, but here's the thing. I also want to get Serpent and Dove. I read Serpent and Dove and I absolutely loved it. I say absolutely a lot. I've noticed that. Um, but I loved Serpent and Dove and I have not yet read Blood and Honey and I really want to read Blood and Honey, but the thing is I don't own either of them. So I would love for Christmas to get either Serpent and Dove 
so I can have it because I love it and I would love to read it again. Or Blood and Honey, so that I can read Blood and Honey and continue on with the story. <laughs> so, I would love to read, or I would love to receive either of those because I need to read the second one. <laughs> this is going great. Um, so, one thing that you're going to notice about a lot of these books is that they're going to be all like continuations of series that I have. For example, this next one is the Tea Dragon Festival and Tea Dragon Tapestry. I have the Tea Dragon Society. I've read it. I loved it. I own it. I want the rest of them so that I can read them, love them, and own them. So I, I'm really excited to see if it's like a continuation or just kind of how those are. I don't know a lot about them. Then the next book on my list is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. So this is the prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy. I very recently got the last two books in the trilogy for quite a while. I only had Hunger Games, but I read all three of them like way back in middle school. I just never bought Hunger Games until a couple months ago and then I didn't buy <laughs> Catching Fire or Mockingjay until a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Uh, so I would really love to have a uh, Ballad of Songbird and Snakes. I have not read it, but I know whether or not I like it, I'm going to want to own it just to kind of complete the world, kind of complete that set, I guess. Um, so that's one that I, I'm going to really want, no matter how I enjoy it or not. And the last one is actually a book called The Huntress. Again, I don't know much about it other than it's historical fiction. And one other thing I will say that I would love for Christmas this year is just more historical fiction. Because as you guys, if you have followed my channel, you know that I challenged myself to read a different uh, genre of book every month to try and branch out, figure out what I like to read, what I don't like to read, so that I can read more than just fantasy. Because I know I love to read fantasy, obviously. But I also know that there are going to be other books that I'm going to enjoy reading if I just gave myself the chance. So I gave myself a chance and the very first genre that I picked last January was historical fiction and I loved it. I loved all the books that I read and I really want to continue. So I just want more historical fiction in general. Um, if you guys have any good recommendations for historical fiction, please leave them down below. And who knows, I'll either put them on my Christmas list or I'll just end up buying them for myself this Christmas. So that one's kind of pretty generic. There were, I feel like there were a lot of really good fantasies released in the past year or two though that I also want to catch up on. I am also the kind of person where it's like if I read a book and I liked it, I really want to own it. Um, so there are also a lot of books that I read that I just want to own. Uh, like Wicked Fox and Vicious Spirits came out after that and I wouldn't mind owning both of those. But yeah, just other fantasies that came out in the last year or two, like We Hunt the Flame, Forest of Souls, uh, Seasons of the Storm, like there are so many books that was like A Crown of Pearl and Coral, I believe. Um, like so many books came out and I'm like, oh that's so cool, that's so fascinating, I want to read them, but then I end up sitting there like, no, I want to sit there and read them and not read them by audiobook, but then my library doesn't have it, so the only way to get them is to own them, and then I don't do that because I don't know if I'm going to read them or not, or I mean, I don't know if I'm going to like them or not, and if I don't like them, I don't want to give them away because then I just wasted all that money. So I would love to get any of these books for Christmas, so then like, I'm not spending the money. But then I, I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to read them, and I'm going to love them. So those are just uh, some of the books on my Christmas list, books that I want to get for Christmas, whether it be from other people or myself. <laughs> so family, if you're watching this, here you go. Laura's Christmas list right here in a video format so you can hear me talk about it rather than just reading it on a piece of paper. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of all I'm going to say. Um, otherwise I love being surprised too, but no one likes surprising me because no one knows if I'm actually going to like it because I always want to get books I like, which is appreciated. But like, eh, we we'll never know. Uh, yeah, so just a very short, sweet uh, video getting ready for Christmas, thinking about what books I'm going to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what books you're hoping to get this Christmas or you are going to get yourself this Christmas if you're like me and have no patience. Um, I might even get some of them before Christmas, which I really shouldn't. No, I'm not going to. But yeah, let me know down below, comment what books you're hoping to get this Christmas or you wanna get yourself for this Christmas. Uh, click the subscribe button, hit the bell. I post every Thursday. Um, and so you'll be notified every time a video comes up, like I said, every Thursday. 
Uh, feel free to like this video if you are in a Christmassy spirit as much as I am. And uh, until I see you guys in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.